Hello, everyone. I can't even remember if I do openings for these or not. <laughs> Man. But in case I do... <laughs> um, we're on episode 4 of Game of Thrones. And... Oh my, updating content. Purchase and install. Sons of Winter. Um, so anyway, I just like to say, um, uh, welcome back. It's been a long, it, it feels like a long time. Um, I have plus for another 10 days, so I'm going to try to get as most of I, that I can out of uh, my PS Plus titles that I can easily complete on stream. And we're out of, uh, on episode 4 of 6 for this. And we'll see whatever it is that I choose next for next game. So, uh, how about we all sit back, enjoy the storyline, and see where things take us. Ah, oh, there we go. I thought I actually had to select the episode. Anyway. Alright, so let's see where things go, how things go, and as you all know, um, I stay mute the whole entire thing until the end of the episode, and then that's where I come in and, you know, do my thing again, so, um, yeah, so, enjoy. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena, Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Malcolm! Are 
you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? <laughs> you can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Out with it. What happened? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. Can't watch a man die unjustly. I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusters. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod, I know you said you couldn't promise anything, but this, what happened... I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. John, I swear I honoured my vows. Brit wanted to fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No, but you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say.
Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, shit. <sighs> Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh... He's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this, Your Grace. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, Selsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me? Asher Forrester. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an, an army. An army? If you could spare some of your sellswords. Please, if I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My sellswords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want too. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. Oh, that's but it! Your Grace! See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard.
So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. going into Marine. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best case. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylin. He can fight his own battles. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. <laughs> Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, Drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Wrong trick! Let's try it again. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh! My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and 
And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Griff sits in my great hall and acts like the king of bloody Westeros. You can't marry him. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I'll do it, if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could... play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one hour. I marry his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei it past her. and Jaime. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. 
Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Over honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Or you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Oh, this one looks loose. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. Can you see any other way out? Just keep watch. Make sure no one comes by. I'll see what I can do from in here. Right. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. This might help. Might be useful. How's it looking out there, Cotter? Fine, I suppose. We have to hurry. Someone will come along soon. <laughs> Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here.
can see it. it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, you bastard. What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he is? You've run off with potato fucker over here. I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. I'm asking Garrett. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. 
I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. Obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you? me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man, and who's the cripple. Go ahead, come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure. Oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. Not today. Accept it. You're just embarrassing him. What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Kill anyone that moves. You heard him. Stand down! You can't do this. Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family! I did warn you. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I... <laughs> <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop. My eye! Roderick! No! No, you can't! Why 
are you protecting? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Lord Vital doesn't have to find out. You can only keep this a secret for so long. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. I can't see. I can't see anything. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cave! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Ha! <laughs> nice one, Beske. You motherfucker! <laughs> you could never handle a fair fight, could you? Deal with your friend! She'll get us all you killed! You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck... I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Best anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go! You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <coughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. Just talk to me, Beska! We're done talking. <coughs> <coughs> Come on, Asher. Hit me. Uh, oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You want to help? I'm not going to do that. Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it? I was a slave! Here, in this fucking city! <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But 
You had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it, smiling. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. You're on your own. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Please. <sighs> Fine. But you owe me, understand? She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> You flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. 
That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? My apologies. I just noticed Lord Zandros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm, is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. It is a long, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. There are more important things. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. <laughs> Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. I hear your Lord Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing now. Congratulations. Who told you? 
You think you're smart, don't you? That you've figured everything out. You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scared me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mirror. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mirror. I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place, that man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, He's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You work with Lord Andros, right? Well, yes. We do some business together. What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... 
I suppose Simon, I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family. Her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes? You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I'm quite serious, Mira. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. You wouldn't... 
Andros wouldn't. He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... You bloody traitor. You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so bloody dramatic, because I'm just getting started. know where you're going. Cotter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to stop soon, look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter! They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. We don't think. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look oh. like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. He'll be all right, won't he? Ah! Ah! Oh! Stop! Please! You don't like it? You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Ah! Ah! Oh! How's that feel? 
I think you can do better than that. Garrett? Kill them! Fighting you. It's over. Just don't do it. Garrett, let her go. Are those the last of our supplies. Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. I wish I had killed him. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. Ironrath is ours again. 
The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you'd best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. It's Roderick who must decide. Who would you rather have by your side? Duncan comes with us. Roman can stay here and defend Ironra. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. Talia, you'll be the only forester at Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task, and so will you. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. I know. I won't fail them. You'll make them proud. Good luck, my boy. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do From what that you have woman to do, in Lees. and get your people Didn't out she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought care my about. head could feel any You got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. <sighs> what does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. No problem here. As long as we get the reward you promised. You will have it. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here.
hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. see anyone cover me blood oh been used recently We have to go. There's something I have to do. Vesca, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this. Just tell me. Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Vesca! Where are you going? Follow her! My master. Dezo Zoraza. The man who forced me to. 
I'm going to kill you! That is a mercy compared to what you deserve. Death is too easy for a man like him. I'll make sure he feels it. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away! <sighs> My best guy. I am not your Let him go! What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say! Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Then who the fuck cares? Go ahead, Beska. <laughs> no! So when were you going to tell me he's a fucking wild thing? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. You can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Ha! Huh. How bad is it? I might have something that'll help. Just hurry up! Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ugh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, maester. Oh. Oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish! <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. 
I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. If things get bloody, are you on my side or his? My father honors guest right, just as you do. You didn't answer the question. I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today, which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes, I suppose you are. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Coral died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Bruce Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me, yes. You look a bit like your mother now. The father is... Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting.
Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. We'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. We came here for Ryan, and I mean to get him back. I know you do. I hope it doesn't come at too great a cost. Mother, look at this. Miss Ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! What's Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce. And I believed it. I hope I wasn't a fool. Remember what I said. No fear. Right. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. from the other side. Roderick! Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? I see you're at a loss for words. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Well? Why? You know, your father once called High Point a key. For the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. Let's not speak of the dead, shall we? Agreed. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. Enough stalling, Whitey. <sighs> no fucking courtesy. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. You promised the Boltons, Ironwood. If you can't deliver, that's your problem. If our warden grows angry, it's both our problems. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. 
Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. We help you, you don't kill us. Is that it? Roderick, this could save your house. She's right. I'm throwing you a rope. And asking us to tie it around our necks. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer you opportunity. And you call it extortion? I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me slaughtering your small folk! Maybe he'll even make you watch. Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! 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 What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I do this! I swear by the gods if you hurt her! Let him go! Or I'll have Griff This is killed. not what we agreed Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me! Right. And we all die! Roderick, do something! Let me go! Everyone, please! No. I now, Duncan! <laughs> If you want to see Griff alive... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned... I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me, right. and we all die! Roderick, do something! Let me! Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I want? I know you are. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whitey is still a Whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. Uh. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall, and the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It won't be long, Lord. And when they come, I hope that bastard flays you alive. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick.
There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. We'll need to take those two out first. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. You're right. Sorry. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Then prove it! What have you heard? You just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. Not unless she's a fool. Mirin is not asked <laughs> <laughs> We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So? Which will it be? We'll stay on the ground. You take the wall. Feeling all right. Never seen you miss before. I think he got the easy job. Not 
Important. Keep moving. Quick. The guard's on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. down there? Hey, you listening to me? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. All of us. We stick to Croft's plan. We'll take care of them first. All right. I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. 
兵だ Starting. Last, back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. I knew Lud would never sacrifice his son. A white tail is a white tail. Just like a forester is a forester. You made your family proud today. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Dahlia? Sir Ryland? Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I... I didn't mean to... Offend. Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you? I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. Justice was for Marine to deliver, not you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't sellswords, Asha. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrett. Shh. Let's see, you and 87.3% Brad Finlong. You and 61.2% Maimed Griff. You and 87.5% kept Sarah's secret from Lord Tarwick. 
UN 64.8% ordered the Glenmore soldiers to remain at Ironrath. UN 24.8% allowed Beska to kill the Slate Master. Yep. The reason why I got her to kill the Slate Master is because, like, him and her are supposed to be really tight, right? And. It's the only reason why I allowed her to kill him. But. I normally would have been like, don't, because then things will go south probably in some way. But I decided to go for it instead of against it. Hey Stu, uh, didn't, I, I, I was paying attention to the story, I wasn't actually looking at chat, obviously. Hello is Russian. Oh, hello Russian. Is Canadian. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit what Croft has to say, pretty much. Though you're thinking of a different Croft, but I would still say, yeah, I agree. So I have a break, what's the gameplay like on this? The guy on the right looks like the guy from American Pickers. I'd love to know what guy you were talking about. Yeah, I seen a bit of that, uh, Luciano Costa guy's messages, and I was just like, well, now I'm closing down the chat there because the guy is just like ruining part of the story for me. I hate when people do that. Oh, hey, it's, you're you're playing a story-driven game? Oh, well, okay, well, let me tell you, you. You should do this, because if you do this, then this won't happen. But the, the thing you just picked, this happens. Oh, is that, is that, uh, is that, uh, does that, be, you know, uh, is that what you want to know? It's like, no, not really. <laughs> I want to play the game and find out what's going to happen on my own. Oh, God. Anyway, oh, true in two worlds, yeah. Except, I, I, I don't like Croft in this world. <laughs> Maximize your game experience. No, stop asking me this. Hello is Russian. Hello. Um, it's funny how... Hello, Russian user. I can't read your name because it's in Russian. But I could call you KP because K and the P are in there. I know those. Oh, well, oh, sorry. Excuse me. I know the K and the A and the P and the Y. So I could call you Cappy. <laughs> anyway, so per stream, I play one episode each. Right now, I'm going to take a small little break um, here in a little bit. Hopefully not too long from now. I'll get back into it. I just need a break, stretch, you know. And then I will do episode 5 a little bit here from now. Um, so, um, everybody stay tuned for part 5. of, uh, or When I say part 5, I mean episode 5 of Game of Thrones. Just trying to think of the name of it there for a moment. Name escaped me. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, trying to think there. Stu, I'll give you a Oh, uh, when it was given your stats, the three people pictured off to the side. Oh, okay. I can't remember who it is that you're speaking of, but I, but you know, but I know this. I know the screen you're just talking about because it was just up there a moment, a few moments ago. Uh, Stu, I'll give you um, I'll give you a shout there. 
via um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, PSN actually, there because there's something I wanted to ask you, but I'll, I won't ask you on here because I'm just gonna end the video. But anyway, in a little bit, I'm gonna do episode five of six, and yeah. When exactly, I don't know, but I'm hoping that it's going to be soon rather than later today. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all for episode 5.